Hello, hello. Hello, uh, okay, welcome back. We are now um, continuing with Dr. Axe. He is a axe wielding, four armed, two headed, three faced uh, lunatic that we, um, we've just taken uh dual wielding tree we have ambidexterity and let me move over to card here here we go he is level 15 so we're getting there we're moving along and it's time to see what he can do i think we yeah we just came to the stilt we have the quest to go to uh Bethesda Sousa kind of want to do a few things before we go there it's going to be hard although we are now um, I believe last time we got yeah here we go we got 251 rep with mechanimists so we're now welcome in the holy places as you can see here which means we can get to the bottom of Bethesda Sousa without having to worry about um, immediately being killed basically now we didn't look around the stilt completely so i'm quickly going to do that i'm going to see if this guy can firstly identify what this is i think this is maybe a sphere of negative weight 90 drams that's a lot that's a whole lot So I do have 150 skill points, but I think I'm saving it for... I'm trying to get to two-handed fighting like as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I would absolutely love to have uh, Tinkering 1. But you know, money... Tell you what, if, if you're going to charge me 90 to identify that, because I think it's something good. Then we're just going to sell you. What do we have here? Yeah, take the gold nugget. I'll keep the goggles. There we go. That's 200 we got there. So now will you identify it, please? 90 ground. Let's see. Oh. Okay, that's a bit of a. That sucks. Social co-processor. So this is an item that we can't use because we're a mutant. If we were um, a true kin, we would be able to use this. Around a central processor, neural graphs attached to the brain lobes responsible for the feeling of social warmth. Whenever you perform the water ritual with a new creature, you gain an extra 25 rep. If you install this implant after you treat with the creature for the first time, you gain 25 rep the next time you treat with them. Hmm. Wow, you may proselytize an additional creature. This is a really good implant. Holy hell. Okay, well we can't use it, so I'm immediately going to sell it, which is a shame. I really thought we had something good there, and I'm going to buy back my gold nugget. Ah, okay, well that kind of sucks, but you know, that's just the way it is sometimes in CUD. You just have to take the bad and move on. We've got a gunsmith here. I mean, I suppose I should probably pick up these lead slugs. They cost basically nothing, and I'll take the shotgun shells as well. Yes, take. So we have a whole bunch of money, which is great. Uh, sorry, my mic is kind of high there. Let me just lower that slightly. Hopefully you can't hear my fan heater absolutely blasting me in the background. Doesn't look like it. Okay, what do we have here? We have what looks like a cloak. Salesman. Um, do these give any special abilities? 5% carrying capacity for a pocketed vest. I didn't know that was worn on the back. Is it worn on the back? 
I'm not going to buy it because I thought it was... It took up your armor slot. And we have, I think, plaster for... Yeah, plaster for jerkin right here. Would like to upgrade some of my armor, to be honest. Now that we're level 15, we should really be thinking about where we want to go in terms of armor and weaponry. Another pair of ulna stimulators would be really good because I we have two sets of hands. And these give plus one to strength and agility. We, I mean, we would lose... We would lose one armor value, but we'd also gain three dodge value. So, you know what, I'm actually going to buy the ulna stimulators. I might regret this buying them before I've looked around, but... You know what? It is what it is. We've got so much... Uh, could probably get away with... I mean, what would that cost me? That would No, that would take too much. Take this. Yes. And I think I have a fidget cell that I can put in there. So we're going to... Let's see. So up here, we have 7 armor and 4 dodge. Not great, but okay. Now. So, 7 armor, 4 dodge. I'm going to remove these steel gauntlets. I'm going to put on these other honor simulators. And we're going to put a cell. We're going to put a fidget cell in there. And after 5 seconds. So, we're at 6-6 six, six at the moment up here, look. They should kick in. There we go. So, 6-6 six, six is better than 7-4, in my opinion. I like to... I mean, a lot of people try and spec into one or the other, which is fine. But I like to try and keep them both val balanced, because dodge is important too. You know, armor is great. Would like a little bit more armor with that said, but... Uh, that chem so is okay. So now if we look at our stats, we should have... Yeah, we have 26 strength now and 27 agility, which is incredible. We've got plus 5 in both of those stats. So I'm definitely going to be using the gun a lot more. Make sure that's fully loaded. Yep. And we're just going to move through the stilt here. Okay, so we've got cooking. We've got what looks like a uh, Glover. Of course we just bought gloves so I kind of really didn't want to be looking at what we could have potentially missed. What is this thing? Hmm. I've never seen that before. And yet another Glover over here. This is a uh, Six fingered, hmm, that gives you additional agility, I think. Yeah, plus one agility and ten cold resist. Cold resist is going to be pretty important if we're um, going to be going to uh, Bethesda Sousa. It gets really cold down there. Also, before I go any further, yesterday I wrote down what we need should we get a fungal infection for this character and we do need convalescence so before we go we need to remember to pick up firstly let's just check that we have the okay we have one free water skin that's fine um, we need to remember to pick up some desalination pellets which will let us turn slime into gel so we need gel and convalescence so the convalescence we're going to find an obscene amount of it inside Bethesda Sousa the gel we need to get some slime and desalinate it and that will turn it into gel uh, is there anything here we want what do we have on our head at the moment oh, we've got two heads right so we've got a leather cap on one and a crimson hood on the other and they're both being averaged out 
Uh, I think I'm fine with that for now. What do we have here? We have vape. And we have an actual armor over here. The armor almost never sells anything worth buying, but you never know. I mean, carbide plate armor would be pretty sweet. But it's minus five dodge, which is quite a big... But it does give us five protection. What are we current? We're plastifers. Okay, so that's three minus three. But it also gives us warmth. And we're going to need as much warmth as possible going forward. So I'm going to actually keep that for now. Okay, nothing good here. We got another book binder up here. Should always check book binders for. Um, Schrodinger's pages because those are just amazing items. Uh, you know what? Take this and this and give me that water skin. I'm gonna need one. I'm trying to think of what I would like to see to buy whilst we're here. There's not much that I mean. We got drum loaded, don't feathered, no nulling. Can't use that. I mean we don't even have tinkering one yet, so a lot of this stuff is just kind of trash. But we're gonna keep having a look. Oh we've got a uh, a gem a jeweler, I think they're called, over here. Hmm. Uh, what do I want? Do I want any of these? You know what? I probably will take this agate gemstone. And we will give them... Take the fungicide grenade. We're never going to use that. Chrome revolver I don't need. And then we'll give them, what, 74? 73 or 74? Which is fine. Yeah, 74. So we still got 55 drams of water on us, which is more than enough for where we're going to be going. Hmm. Chain Coif. You can attack with this, right? On penetration, this weapon deals causes bleeding one. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's check what this is. That's another Glover. I'm not even going to bother looking. I have a Guts Munger over here. Which we don't need. It's also good practice to look in, I think, these places. The Ica Merchants, because sometimes they have painted... Uh, bottles. Okay, there's a. Uh, we'll take one desalination pellet here. And we'll give him the agate gemstone. And he'll give us another 29 drams. So cool, we have the desalination pellet, which is part of uh, making our antifungal. This is a kipper? Yeah, part of making our antifungal cure. Uh, what else do we have here? Nothing interesting in particular. And here we go, we're back. So, do we have a spray bottle? We do not. I think you can buy spray bottles from over here? Yeah, we can. 57. You know what? take two of those and then I'll right, we're gonna need the spray bottle so we've got hmm, how do we want to do this okay we need to eat that's abundantly clear right now so we know for a fact there's a whole bunch of slime uh, you know what I don't want to mess with that really Although, you know what? Oh, no, one of them's come for me.
Um, just realized <laughs> I haven't switched my audio source over. There we go. Got to be really careful shooting here. Um, okay, we're on fire. Not really worried. Just gonna pour a little bit of water on me. Here we go. Pour, pour it on yourself. Just one. Okay, that didn't quite do it. Let's try another. Okay, we're still on fire, which is... there we go. So, with that out of the way, let's see, let's reload. We are going to eat. Oh no, we already ate, didn't we? There are hostiles nearby, apparently. I mean, they're on the previous screen, I don't really want to mess with them. So, a good way of getting slime would be to go to back to Golgotha. I mean, we need to be over in that direction anyway. I'm kind of tempted to just peek into Bethesda Sousa. Level 15, I mean, we maybe should be higher level than this, but uh, that is a, is that a Scorpioc? Is that what they're called? This looks like a, a named one. Yeah, this is Shebasov, legendary Scorpioc and virtuoso weaver. Loved by arachnids, hated by the villagers of Bervapad and disliked by succulents. Hmm. I'm just going to keep an eye on that for now. He dropped an artifact. Let's see what he dropped. Something good, I'm hoping. A freezing two-handed steel longsword. I'm going to remove the energy cell, and you know what, I'll keep it on me for now. Okay, I'm going to let them do their thing. I'm going to go finish off these uh, snap jaws up here. Made short work of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we are lost at this point. Uh, that actually looks like a kind of scary fight. I don't know if I want to fight these guys. I don't really want to be hated even more by spiders either, to be honest. So I'm going to kind of keep moving up. Oh, there we go. We've regained our bearings. I will fight these snap jaws, see if they have anything worth taking over here. And I'm going to dismember. There we go, we cut his feet off and he died. <laughs> Man, I love this game. Okay, nothing. There's a two-headed boar there, which is going to cause us issues. Alright, we will eat. We regained our bearings, so we're just going to continue on here. Right, we're at Golgotha, we're going to take the elevator. Where did I just kill? Oh, there's a slumberling there. Wow, we just absolutely demolished it. Okay, anyway. Hmm, how are you supposed to... Ah, uh, I thought there was controls next to the elevator. Hold on, what is this? Is this slime? No. We may have to go back down through... You know what? Screw it. We can do it. I mean, we want to immediately be set on fire. That's not great. But here we go. What do we have here? That's green goo. I think we specifically need slime. I will take that capacitor. 
It's just all green goo here. I'm just trying to keep out of the way of these flaming vents. Okay, let's continue on. Hmm. An ape fur cloak, does that give us... That does give us cold resist. So I'm going to actually take that, we're going to need that. Okay, good, let's go down. Maybe we aren't going to find any uh, slime here. Surely these are going to drop slime. No? Green goo. Okay, that's a shoot crab. I don't really want to start messing with... We somehow managed to dodge a bunch of the, uh... Yeah, get over here, please. This is green goo. Does... Mm. I don't know if green goo turns into, uh, gel. So I don't want to take it. You know what? Let's just go here and heal up. Uh, sorry. Need to remember that we've got this uh, assault carbine as well that we can use. Okay, we're back at full health. Let's keep going. Uh, I don't feel good about this. Okay, we somehow made it past. The robots are cool with us. Uh, I'll take the canteen. Wow, there's a named legendary bear down here. That's bad. Killing him would make... Is this... Awake? No, it's asleep. Okay, that's good. You know what, I'm going to start with a little dismemberment. Let me try and take out these... Why am I on fire? Did we cut something off of him? Yeah, we cut off her tail. I will give her a flurry. And then I'm going to sting her, see if I can get confusion to proc. It didn't. Okay, let's flurry again. How's she looking? This is risk. Risk, risk, risk. Okay, I'm going to try and move away from her because... Time to eat some witchwood. Okay, good. We've cut something off that makes her <laughs> mobility impaired here. So we now have a slight advantage, I would say. 
Uh, unless that happens. What was that? Okay, she's badly wounded. I think we've got it. Oh, that could have gone very badly. Okay, baboons won't give us any problems. Dromads like us a bit more. What does she drop? A gigantic two-handed... I've actually never seen that, I don't think. Uh, let's go over here. Wow. Wow. Gigantic. This weapon has plus three damage. Much heavier than usual. It must be wielded by four-handed or non-colossal creatures. If that was an axe, I would I would love it. It weighs so much though. Look at that. 55 pounds. I'm gonna take it for now. Um It looks like I was wrong about there being slime down here. There's ooze, there's sludge, and there's goo, but apparently. Well, not apparently, but I think it's very different from, um, from slime. There's also a bunch of stuff that's died down here that's dropped uh, capacitors and things. You know what, whilst I'm here, let's try and regain some health. Okay, pick up some more tinkering bits. Try and kill this voido if we can. Alright, let's get out of here. We don't need to be here, clearly. Hmm. Does this not work anymore? Where's my elevator? So that, that doesn't seem to work, which is kind of worrying. I don't know how you would get out of here. Normally, I mean, I have a recoiler, so I know I can just teleport out of here, but how would you do that if you didn't have a recoiler? Have I looted this? No. Take this, take this. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. We're going to have to go back to Joppa because uh, looks like we don't have... Can we use this? Does this have enough juice? It does. Why am I flashing? I guess we're just covered in crap. Let me wash that off. Okay, I'm gonna put my uh, crafting stuff in here. We don't, we can't use it just yet. There's really no need to be carrying it around with us. And I'm gonna go sell that giant sword if if I can. Hopefully it's worth something. Oh, 
also get rid of that. Eh, it's kind of worth a bit of money, not that much really. Right. Here we go. Do we know the location? We've got acid weep. Okay. We will come across slime for sure, like. I'm actually gonna take a visit. I think we've been there already on this character. I'm kind of worried about going to Bethesda Sousa right now, but you know what? Let's just do it. Okay, I'm always up for finding more locations, random locations here. This seems like a bit of a disappointing location, to be honest. I had a folding chair. Great. Is that Bela? Yeah. Could go there, but I really don't want to. Let's make some food. Okay, so we're pretty lost. Our uh, only hope really here. What is this? That's a data disk just lying on the floor. Ah, phase conjugate. That is not bad. Couple of droids over here. Killed a ray cat, what a monster. Okay. Naftali. Something shooting me. <laughs> what was shooting? Oh, it's a gut. Oh, no. Okay, let's wait here for a little bit. We took one of them out. Those chain gun turrets hit so hard. There we go, it's gone. No idea what that. Oh. Gotta stop walking over mines. I don't know what that noise was. Why the ray cats are after me. Okay, here we go. Now we have some friends. Let's see. Loved by antelopes, admired by beetles, and mysterious. We ha absolutely have to share our drink with this guy. Can't believe we haven't found any beetles in this uh, playthrough yet. I guess that means we're no longer lost as well. Yeah, okay, awesome. And immediately we are lost again. Let's head back. I saw a chromeling there. Where did you come from? There's another one. Ah, what do we have here? Statue of Dagon. Dagon is the orator. Dagon the orator domineers the West Apes. Apps with his brazen pose. Okay. Okay, 
please don't get lost again. Right, we've been there. We're now heading into the jungle. This frog is not my friend. I've cut his face off. What am I being shot? Ah. Okay, we need to heal. I would really love some, some more toughness, because our health is kind of worrying me. This is what I'm worried about fighting right here, these goat folk. They can be a real pain. Let's get rid of this bear and then focus just on this guy. <sighs> Although he's just dropped a two-handed carbide battle axe. This is amazing. I take it all back. It was totally worth it. What is the horn? The horn helm is the one that we will... Yeah, okay. Right, two-handed carbide battle axe. This is great. We are going to equip it in place of our two-handed steel battle axe. And then... We're going to put... Um... Our two-handed battle axe, uh, our two-handed steel battle axe, that is. Yeah. So now we should just have two weapons equipped. We've got two two-handed weapons. We've got one steel, one and one. Although that's in our that's our main hand. That did not work right. Let me just unequip all of this stuff. Okay. There's one hand. Here's another. Here's another, and here's another. So lower left, carbide, that's now our main weapon. So now lower right we want two-handed steel. There we go. Okay, we can unequip this fidget cell as well if we don't need to have that equipped just now. Just want to check that our weapons are looking good. Steel, carbide, yeah, okay, amazing. So we should be pretty uh, formidable. Okay, that is not what I want to see. Just go here and try and heal up a little bit. Try not to get blown to pieces. That would have been embarrassing if we died uh, to a flower. What is this? A steel mace. <clears throat> okay, alright, we are lost, so let's keep moving. I wonder where this path leads. Does it? Do they have to lead somewhere, or can they just be random? Do we follow it? Kind of interested to see where that might go. Yeah, we're hitting pretty hard now. Hey, this is exactly what we need. Lots of slime. Okay. We're gonna pour. Actually, I think we can just do collect, right? No, 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 no. We're gonna pour this into one of our water skins. 64. Fill up one water skin. That thing's still alive. Yes, it is. Okay. We leveled up. <laughs> uh, we're level 16. We've got five more HP. Some more skill points and another mutation point. Great. Before we do that, let's just use this. And we're going to apply the desalination pellet here into this water skin full of slime. So you drop a desalination pellet into the water skin 
The slime fizzles for several seconds. Mm. What does that leave us with? There we go, we now have gel. If we look at this... Uh, where is it? Hmm, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're still 60 short of having enough for... Uh, two-handed weapons, so I'm going to pump this into... We don't need triple jointed. Regen. If we get one more level after this, we have a 100% chance to regrow a limb each round. So level 10 is the place to be, it looks like. Okay, I'm still going to follow this path. I really want to know where this might lead. leads to nowhere. Literally, it just stops. Great. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Let's keep moving. Okay. We're lost in the hills now. This looks like a whole bunch of snap jaws. How do baboons feel about us? Are we friends? We are friends with baboons. Not that they would have been too much of an issue anyway. You know what? Early on baboons can be a real nightmare. Uh, what are we... Okay. This is not my fight here. Somebody just leveled up. I think it's a kind of cool detail that, um... You know, enemies and NPCs can actually level up through fighting, just like you can. Okay, you know what, let's, let's head this way. I think this is a roughly direction we need to be going. Killed something there without even realising. These are just unarmoured snap jaws, I almost feel bad. Drop anything? No. Let's see what we got. Goggles, take. They weigh nothing. A lot of cannibals around here. One of them dropped an artifact. They almost never have anything interesting that they drop, so... Yeah, I told you. Freezing club, who cares? There you go, they also... Uh, the goat just leveled up right there. Good on you. Hey, we found a random caravan. Yep, I'll take all of your ammo. You got a couple of artifacts, but you can't identify them as far as I know. Hmm. You've got a grit gate recoiler with an unknown trinket in it. That's kind of interesting. Okay, we shouldn't be lost now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so there's some pretty... Uh, okay, that's not a great start. Yeah, look at that. The Kragmensch uh, armor is really thick and it's actually pretty difficult to... I, mm, it makes me wonder if maybe we're here a bit too early, to be honest. What is hitting me?
Oh, this is kind of uh, kind of iffy over here. They are slow, luckily. I don't think shooting them is going to really uh, achieve much, is it? No, we can't even hit them. This is going to be hard, you know. At least right now. Um, yeah, see our dismemberment didn't even go through. That was cool. Our flurry we got to use twice in a row there. Although, did we do anything? We did not. Okay. It sucks, but you know what? We cannot be here right now. What do we need to eat by that? We need a, a null worm corpse. We'll keep an eye out for those. Okay, we're going to have to do some leveling uh, independently and uh, try and get some slightly better armor. This guy has to immediately die. Okay, he dropped the light obfuscating lens. And we got a couple of artifacts here, which is great. See if we can identify what these might be. Gaslight Chris, good dagger. And a wrist fan with a chem cell in it. Okay. Is the wrist fan even usable? 25% to repel gases. Okay. Gonna unpack that. Uh, what does this do again? I think it helps against uh, light attacks, is that right? I'm going to take it, but I'm not going to equip it. Okay. Okay, we're not lost. I keep thinking we're lost. I'm so used to being lost in this game. there. The Goat Folk Bully has Assault Hopper Mandible as a weapon. That's uh, that's not good. I'm going to take a risk here. And I shouldn't have, and we're probably going to die right now. If we get shot even once, we've got 3 HP. Okay, it's going up, thanks to our regen. If our, if we didn't have regeneration, we'd still be at 3 HP right now. So I'm just going to sit here. What does this guy have on him? He's got a carbide dagger. Uh, we can stay around this long grass, we might be okay. Okay, please let me heal to full right now. No, there's another one. Okay, yet again we somehow survived. Oh, this guy has some he has some honor stimulators. Do they have batteries in them? 
They do not. He also has an obsidian Chris here, which I'm going to sell. Uh, nothing else I want from that. I'm, I think I'm going to aim for like level 18 to do Bethesda Sousa. We should have some pretty well established uh, weapons and armor and skills and things like that by that point. Okay, we got another goat folk slower here. Okay, we will pick up these grenades. I'm going to actually identify them so that we know what they are. There we go. Those are basically just free explosive weapons that they drop. They're grenades. Can be pretty handy. In fact, you know what? I'm going to equip. Uh, what am I doing? Where did they go? So I was seed. Here we go. Right, let's keep moving this direction, maybe. Okay, we need to eat yet again. I, s I think this character seems to get hungrier than most of my other characters. I really want there. I do want to check if our owner simulators still have a battery. No, that one's drained. Uh, yeah, put those on. We're going to remove that. We're going to put the recharged chem cell, uh, fidget cell in there. That chem cell has been used so we're going to put another fidget cell in there and then the two empty right that's full that's full okay brilliant okay i'm gonna hide behind this tree like a coward Ooh, we must have cut his hands off he dropped his weapon where'd he go what happened to that guy? Hmm. Okay, what are these guys carrying? He's got a carbide hammer. He's got some kind of artifact, which kind of scares me. Okay, he's confused. While he's confused, let's body this guy. Okay, what? What do they have here? This weird artifact. Bioscanning bracelet. Oh, with an unknown battery type. Let's find out what that is. Combustion cell. Okay, great. That's going to be pretty easy to uh, to keep powered because oil is just everywhere in this game. This just tells us the um, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's use it. Why not? We've got plenty of arms to equip it on. Continue heading this way. Yeah, I would love to just get a couple more levels and then we can go do Bethesda Sousa and move the main 
quest line along a little bit. Although you can't be in card just finding these random underground layers here and just seeing what kind of horrors. I've had one once where I walked down and there was like immediately uh, just like um, a legendary chrome pyramid. I managed to cheese it and um, kill it, but it was it was rough. Oh, okay, we got ick. Are they called? A worm of the earth. Okay, they aren't what I thought they were. I think they're called ick slugs, or maybe they used to be called ick slugs. I don't know if they've changed the name. Okay, lots of slime, acid. Uh, I think we need acid. For one of our, yeah, I'm going to pour this acid into the canteen. I think that's okay. I don't think that will make it dissolve. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to pour, I'm going to fill up this canteen now with acid for our acid battery. I wonder, okay, are we friends? We are friends. But they aren't friends. I wonder what's giving off all this acid down here. We move over here, grab something to eat whilst we're here. Do a little bit of auto exploration. Seems pretty tame under here. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, pick a direction here and just keep moving. How's that fidget spell? Uh, fidget cell doing? It's still got a little bit more charge it can get, so I'm gonna keep that equipped. Okay, it doesn't look like we can go this. Oh no, we can go this way. Some more amoebas. Nothing too scary just yet. Okay, there's gonna be some spiders around. Somebody somewhere has just triggered the uh, this thing. Yeah, it's a spider. I'm not interested. Uh, what is this? Ah, a portable beehive. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to use it. Oh, we also have some um, aloe volta here. Probably not a good idea to walk into them like that. Does that kill them? No, it doesn't kill them. It just discharges them. What do we have here? We have a silver ronger. Which I think is worth money. If I remember right. Yeah, you can also equip it. Which is actually really handy. Because it gives a uh, reputation with the Mechanimists. So if we hadn't got to 250 reputation with Mechanimists, we could have used that to... Just help kind of boost our our rep so that we can go to the bottom of Bethesda Sousa without worrying about being absolutely destroyed. Okay, we've got some apes down here. A leech. I'm gonna auto explore. I don't know why I'm doing this manually. I hope I remember my way my way back. So we came east, and now we're going to go down again. Just do this manually. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's go down. Let's 
excuse me, I just hit my camera there. My um microphone, sorry. Oh, we picked up a book. Modulo Moonstair and the Tree of Life. Hmm. So that's a yellow book, which means that it's actually... Uh, it's not randomly generated. That has actual lore in it, and that will be in every playthrough. Unlike all the other books, which are just completely random. And often just totally gibberish. They, they don't really make any sense whatsoever. there's any more ways to go. We can go north of here. So let's just check that out. Are we looking for skill points? Okay, we need 60 to get what we want. Okay, there's an Arcanaut down here. Nothing. some food here. Continue on. Okay, I'm going to head this direction here. East. Chop these trees down so we can continue. Uh, that's fresh water. Or it was fresh water. We collected a whole bunch of it. Hmm. I wonder who this uh, lair belongs to down here. Lots of books, which is great. Hmm. Look at that. There's a pit or a shaft here that we can um. But we're going to take the stairs. I guess the shaft would have just led us here, right? Actually, I'm going to test. Let's test that out. If I go back up and then jump down, yeah, it just leads here. Okay. What is that? Ah, okay. So these corpses here. Certain corpses in the game. Uh, are actually lootable like this this moldering corpse you can see it has some kind of strange tubes an elastin skin suit carbide shield a square cap a tattoo gun I'm gonna take the skin suit for sure and what does the square cap give ego and intelligence I'm gonna take it but it's dropped some kind of uh, Look, I don't want these plastic trees. Get out of here. 
Wet strange tubes. It weighs 15. Could be a rocket launcher, but I... Ooh, mechanical wings. Those are good. I don't think you can actually fly with them, can you? But it just, um... It looks cool, you know. Gotta give them that. I'm gonna keep them on me for now. Gives us one armor and three dodge. That will take us from 6-6 six, six to... Also, what's that? Does it, have? it doesn't have any. To 4-12. Uh, I don't really like that. 12 dodge is great, but... I need armor. I really need armor. How deep are we here? We're four levels down. So we're pretty far underground. Looks like we can just about head south from here. We don't keep walking into trees. Let's see what we've got. Okay, that's a null worm. This is exactly what we need. Okay, never mind, we butchered it. <laughs> that's what you need if you get a fungal infection on this particular playthrough. It's not the same every time. But you just gotta remember, remember to turn butchery off before I go to pick those up. Looks like there's something... A psychic thrall. To who? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm now time dilated. Who is this lunatic? Hmm, this is this kind of has me a little worried to be honest. Somebody who clearly um Okay, now there's an ant here. What is this place? Ah, there we go, look. That's very scary. If we can get him... You know what, let me go up here and just rest. I'm gonna go back because if we can kill him that will give us quite a big chunk... Oh, don't do that. It'll give us quite a nice chunk of um, experience. I think. What do you have on you, dude? Nothing. What are you wearing, actually? Do I need to... nothing. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's take another look down here. Oop, no. Right, yeah, you're gonna try and set me aflame. Okay, step one, dismember. We missed.
step two. Hmm. Step two, flurry. Uh oh. Step three, get out. Step four. <laughs> This could be the end. I mean, we've been pushing our luck for, for a long time now. We're going to pour some water on on us. Uh, two, at least two drams seems to be the magic number for putting yourself out. And now, yeah, don't skip a turn. He's going to come up immediately after us. We have no healing as far as I know. We might have a salve injector, but it's risky. Um, because we have we're allergic to tonics so if we take this we're running the risk of basically all hell breaking loose but I think we have to right it's um it's do or die right now okay and now we sprint and we I'm gonna sprint up here it looks like we can leave this map Okay, the ant is coming after us. My health is back. I really wish that seeker of the sightless way would come up here. Um, it would be great to kill them because they have rep with a bunch of factions that it's good to um, to have some positive rep for. Okay, let's just heal up here. Nothing happened. Do we definitely have tonic allergy or am I just making this up? No, we do. But we only have a 33% that something bad might happen. Okay. That's great. We need to eat. I can't believe I'm actually going to um, go back down here, but... Okay, why is this ant not attacking me? Why are you friendly all of a sudden? Where is he? Did he die? Who is this? This can't be him. I think he might have set himself on fire. And just... Just kind of... Melted? <laughs> he was down here before, so let's see. No, this guy's a psychic thrall. These fire ants, okay, thank god, they're friendly. I don't really, I don't mind fighting normal ants, but fire ants, and there's a queen here from the looks of it. Yeah, here we go. If I had some kind of ability to, um, to proselytize or, or, or uh, take one of these as a follower, I would use it, but we don't have anything. Something going on down here. So, what? what is this? Some kind of mill. A mill that's four layers deep underground. Here he is, look, he's... This guy's friendly with us. He doesn't really have any equipment that I want, so I'm just gonna let him kind of die. Without... So, there's all kind of hell breaking loose here, let's just wait until that... We picked up an artifact, let's see what this is. We have, oh, we have quite a bit of uh, stuff to identify here. We have some kind of injector that we don't know about. Sphinx salt. Which, what does that one do again? I should know this. I made a, a whole chart. Um, okay, you're immune to mental attacks, basically. Uh, I'm never going to use that. That can be sold. Weird artifact one, something good please. It weighs 11 pounds, so it's quite heavy, whatever this is. It's just a regular carbine. Mm, that's not great, really. And we have a semi-automatic pistol. I'm gonna need to... Hmm, I'm gonna need to drop some stuff soon. We're running pretty heavy. All of this meat is what's doing it. You know what? I'm turning butchery off. Uh, sorry. Yeah, we've turned it off. I'm turning butchery off because it's just taking up... Look at all of this stuff we have. We're going to drop all of these. All of these. 
all of these, this. Oh, I hit my mic again. And this. There we go. That's a luminous horse room. Those are good to take. Keep heading this way. Lots of fresh water here. Maybe too much. We're we're really heavy yet again. Okay, let's head down. Okay, we are friends. There's a Mechanimus Pilgrim here. It has nothing that I really value on him. Okay, there's also an, a mine layer down here. That's that dealt with. Those are first thistles. I hate those. Right. Being able to see the enemy's HP is actually pretty handy. You know what? I take back what I said about the bio scanning bracelet. That's a whole lot of centipedes right there. Oh, it looks like we can only head north of here. Arcanaut here. Probably has nothing interesting on him. Some worms. Stairway up. What did we pick up? We picked up a small box. Let's find out what it is. Okay, it's a spiral borer. That's, uh, yeah, that's very heavy. This would be very fun to use. Ah, okay, we need to do something about our weight here. We don't need two tattoo guns. We have so much fresh water. And way too much gel to be honest. Um Can I actually move like this? No, I can't. Alright. We can definitely pour out the fresh water in this spray bottle, we don't need that. The elastin skin suit I kind of want to sell, mechanical wings I also would love to sell. We can drop that, I'm honestly going to drop that as well. Drop the sower seed. Can I move now? No. I don't know if you can actually move when you're over encumbered in this game. Oh, I know I can drop. It's all of this trash here. Uh, I'm going to keep that because that's actually... Okay, we've got a two-handed carbide battle axe, which we need. And we actually we're gonna move back here. I'm gonna unequip this two handed steel battle axe and we're gonna drop it. In this pile of garbage garbage here. Yeah? And I'm gonna pick this up. 
and I'm going to equip it where we had the there we go so we should now have oh yeah we're at 348 out of 360 pounds yeah, we got battle axes carbide battle axes in both hands which is great although we might be nearing an end of our um, journey down here because I, I just need to go and sell so much stuff you know we've got a spiral borer which is interesting Finish exploring this layer and then we can go back. Something shooting me, it's probably a boar. I was just see spitting vine, never mind. Is this where we came from? It's blocked. This whole way is blocked. Even though it looks like you could totally go through here. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep heading east if we can. I'll be no ape. Okay, that's a null worm. We do need that. I don't know if we can. Yeah, if we pick that up. We... Hmm. Way too heavy. Way, way, way too heavy for us to take it right now. It... We just can't. I mean, that weighs, what, 70 pounds? That's fine. There's going to be plenty of null worms knocking around. Hey, we got a statue. Mimed the third, Blockborn. Throughout the entirety of 4917BR, Mimed the Third plundered all of Tar Palace, stealing oil from the heat lamps in the villages of newly sentient beings in Baboom. He became known as the Scourge of Tar. Not a great nickname. Avoid, uh, I don't really want to. I mean, I guess I kill them. How much XP? 375. That's. Actually, pretty good. Never mind. Okay, so it looks like a dead end to the east, so maybe we can go down here. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Hey, a whole bunch of shrines. Uh, okay. We've learnt a location. No, no, no. Go back over here first. Let's have a look at this one. Polydoc. We must have already known that. And I, Is this the one we just looked at? No, this is a new statue. What's that? We saw a voider. Okay, let's...
Why are you stopping? You're hungry. Okay. Let's go south of here. So does this trash monk have anything good on him? Not really. This is a dead end. Yeah. Alright, let's go east, even though we literally can't pick anything else up. we stop okay stay way up let's have a look up here see what we're dealing with just some impalement you know let's go up okay let's start heading out of here some graffiti up here what does it say no idea I mean I know some of the words but I think it's mostly just complete gibberish Slowly inching towards leveling up again. Let's head north. Okay, that's a stairway down. <laughs> I guess I'm, I mean, this is becoming a bit too much, like, if I die, this is absolutely 100% on me at this point, because I'm just going on such a tangent over here. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. What have we got over here? Hmm, is this convalescence? Yeah, we need this. So, here's what we're going to do. Okay, stop putting water in this bottle, please. We're going to pour this on the floor. Now, what we're going to do in preparation for later is we're going to take this gel and we're going to pour one dram of it into another container here yeah, make sure you select one okay and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pour one dram of this into this spray bowl no do not empty it there we go we have brackish convalescence now uh, sorry not brackish uh, luminous gel Although, because we walked over there, is this all brackish? No. Okay, we actually screwed that up. Hold up. I didn't realize that that was brackish. I'm going to pour this 
on myself, sure, why not? We're going to do this again. We're going to take the gel, we're going to pour it into another container, we're going to pour it into a spray bottle, make sure it's one dram only. Okay, and then we're going to go over to this convalescence up here that hasn't been... Where is it? Yeah, see this one is... Brackish, and this one is just... Completely, um... Just regular convalescence, so we're going to pour... They know, we're going to pour one dram in there... And there we go, we now have... Spray bottle with unctuous convalescence. Which means, should we get a fungal infection later, we're going to be able to cure it. As long as we can find a null worm corpse to eat beforehand. I have so many boars down here. Okay. Whoa, what the hell went on over here? An ogre ape. A whole bunch of ogre dead ogre apes here. What happened? Also, if I turn butchery back on, is that gonna um That's an ogre fur hat. That's actually really good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna butcher these into uh, ogre ape hearts. Okay, we're now there. We go. That's what I was after. Was the pelt? You know, what, drop this. I don't care about the wrist fan. I don't care about the ogre ape hearts. Although they don't weigh anything, so I guess I can keep them. I need to wear this, absolutely. Um, you know what? Drop the spiral bore, it's too heavy, man. Way too heavy. Another ogre fur hat here. I'm going to equip that on my other head. Because I have two heads. Boom. We now have nine armor and two dodge. Which is fine. Is this a. Uh... Oh no, okay. I thought it was a legendary. Hmm. I don't think there's much else here, really. Let's head south if we can. No, we can't. Spiked Ogre Fur Gloves. What are the stats on this? 3 minus 3, heat and cold resist, plus 1 toughness. Uh, I think we probably need to equip these as well, to be fair. Is that going to put us over encumbered? No. But they are really heavy. Although it does mean using... Losing one of our Ulna stimulators here. Okay, that's drained anyway, so you know what? Let's do it.
That's the spiral bora and the wrist fan that I dropped. Okay, these uh, apes really don't like me now, I don't think. Oh. That's fine. Okay. We picked up the combustion cell. We have some goodies. We've got a Praetorian's cloak. What do we have equipped? A leather cloak. I'm absolutely going to wear that. I mean, the rest of it's no good, but that was a really nice find. Okay, I just saw some splashes over here. What have we got here? Ink. I think we can put that into uh, our tattoo gun. Yeah, we can. Can we put any more in here? We can. Okay, you know what, let's get out of here. Now we're going to have to go back to Joppa and... Yeah, use a chem cell, sure. I've got a lot of crap that I need to drop off here. First I'm going to try and clean all of my... Stuff that I'm wearing. There we go, now we can see it. Right in here, we're going to put anything like the albino ape hearts and the ogre hearts. Like, we can't do anything with that. We can't use this just yet. I'm going to put these in here. so much water on us. We need to go on a spending spree, like, immediately. Let's see what Argive's selling first. I'm actually just going to get him to identify all of this. Just to kind of use some of our water. Counterweighted, flexi weave, sturdy. Okay. Let's see what Tam has on him. Take those, take these. Hmm. Definitely take these copper nuggets. And we're going to get rid of the ape fur cloak. The elastine hood, sorry, the crimson hood, the goggles, leather cap, leather cloak. Yep, that's fine. I really should have bought the uh, Grit Gate Recoiler because it's kind of a pain having to keep go. Going all the way up here. 
I'm gonna go buy it now and I'm gonna see what they have to sell me. Hopefully something good. Like right now I just want to get our weight down to like a really comfortable um Okay, chem cell there. Yeah, if we can get our weight down to something that's a lot more manageable. What are you doing just standing there? Everyone's in bed as usual. That's fine. Anything that we don't sell just now, we're going to put in the chest anyway. You have nothing that I'm in. Q girl won't. Well, I mean, I could actually buy never mind I already did you know what, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna give you Take the mechanical wings. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna just pay for that up front. I'm just curious, we've got ten armor and one dodge right now. If I equip the Elastin skin suit, what does that take us to? Oh, that's pretty good. Eight armor and seven dodge. Hmm. I think I prefer that, to be honest. I mean, what's our, our cold resist is 30. That's probably enough for where we're going to be going. Uh, Neek, no, we don't need you. We need Mafeo. Here we go. Wake up. Oh, don't do that. Geomagnetic disc, that's Tinker 2. We're probably never going to be able to use that. Or to learn it, you know. I will take the salve injector just because they're good to have. And then here we go, this is what I want. I want the grit gate recoiler. And you, my friend, can have plaster for jerkin. And the rest I will pay for. I don't think there's anything else here that I um I mean copper nuggets times three, yes. And then I'm gonna wake up for a few sill. Is this new? No. Phase harmonic. It's still level, uh, it's level 2, never mind. So what I like to do here is use this chest. Just to store all of this, uh, I mean, that has no weight. Anything that has weight, basically, like these crappy chem cells, I'll keep the good ones. That I need to remember to equip keep this meat keep this keep that and that the horse rooms don't weigh anything we don't need two tattoo guns we definitely don't need this much water And 
and the ogre, I mean that weighs 10 alone. We've got 33. You know what, I'm actually just going to store all of our valuables here. And this gel we don't need. We don't need 64 drams of acid on us right now. The books I'm going to sell or trade in. I mean, these only weigh one each. Let's actually have a look. Where are we? Um, I think our weight is mostly just coming from all of the armor that we have on. Okay, we need to get 25 strength at some point. Okay, nice. <clears throat> can we go... I think we can go out this way, can we? No. would love a level up, it feels like we've been level 16 forever. Hey, there we go. This time, firstly, I'm going to boost. Hmm. Can't boost that just yet. So I'm going to save that mutation point and we're going to get two weapon fighting to finish off the dual wielding tree here. So this is in increasing our chance to strike with offhand weapon by 75% or to 75% and Flurry's cooldown is reduced by 10 down from 60 and Flurry sometimes doesn't when I use it because of uh, our agility it doesn't uh, sometimes you can use it again immediately which is great but there you go we finished the wielding now the whole tree is, is learnt Right, nearly done. Guess we don't really need to be down in these lower tunnels, do we? I 
I think the plan now is to just head over to the stilt grounds and from there we're going to head back to Bethesda Sousa because I feel like we probably have a better chance of um, making it past all of the uh, fragments now so where have I killed all of these guys where are they coming from yes there are hostels nearby where 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 okay please don't get lost of course you immediately get lost come Come to me. Okay, we regain our bearings. Let's keep going. Over here. Nice. Now, I don't think we've learned any more about Reshef yet, but Let's see, no we haven't. I'm going to go hand these books in for a start. Wow, oh, one of them is worth three and a half grand, that's great. There we go. Just gonna check out the bookbinder, see if he has any Schrodingers. He does, for which faction? Trolls. Um no. I'm not interested. Okay, right. There are hostiles. No, there are no hostiles. Is that stupid? Yeah, this guy. Now I can't hit him from here, so I have to shoot. There we go. Now I should be able to leave. Okay, we immediately get lost. I think if we go up here, we're technically back near, yeah. Okay, yep, back please. Ah, oh, we got lost, but we found a Draymond caravan. Tortoise not interested. Okay, what do you have? Firstly, thank you for telling us where we were. Where I am. Second, do you have anything good? You've got some artifacts we don't know about. It's not saying much. I will take these copper nuggets and in return you can have all of these weird hearts that I've collected. You can have two of the hearts. There we go. And then we'll go about our day. We're going to keep moving. Never mind, we're lost yet again. Man, this game. You know what, I'm just going to move east manually if I can. Although there is... There is a way down there. Okay, we found an orchard. Do not care. Okay, we're lost, but even though I know exactly where we are. And if we go this way... Never mind, there's a... Oh, cliff face in the way. It really sucks getting lost in the hills sometimes. Like it's not easy to um to find your way out manually. Okay, these apes aren't a fan of me because um I'm wearing so much ape fur. 
<laughs> gear at the moment, which is understandable. I will have to remember to take this off before I go to uh, back to the ape village. Yeah, see there, we just used Flurry, but I can use it again because it's cooldown reset. Which is amazing. Okay, that's a micro turret. Um, never mind, it actually wasn't as scary as I thought it might be. Can I please regain my bearings? There we go. And I'm, ah, that's really, really, really annoying. I literally didn't even get a chance to move a single tile. And already I'm lost again. Okay, thank you. Get me out of here. There are no hostiles. What you? Okay, there's one here. I'll give you that. Hey, we made it back. Okay, let's see how we fare against one of these Kragmench. Um, and stay away from that laser um, turret there, because... Yeah, we, we can't even make it past this guy's armor, so... I'm gonna wait till he gets closer. I'm going to charge him, if he stops throwing rocks at me. I think we did a little bit of damage. Okay, it looks like we've just about got the advantage on these guys now. So as long as we play smart and fight them like one-on-one, -on -one, we should be okay. We should be fine. Oh yeah, don't forget about the laser turret. Okay, we cut something off. His right hand. This is great because they give 500 experience each. Okay, where's that turret? It's right there. so I will take them for now. Is there anything I'm wearing that requires... There's a bioscanning bracelet, but you know what? I'm not really worried about keeping that. This doesn't need to be worn right now. We can put a drained one on there. We do have a pair of owner stimulators with a... Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Equip those. Take the battery out. You know what, let's start using some of these chem cells so that I can just drop them. That's going to boost our strength and agility, actually, which is never a bad thing. Okay, we cut something off. His left arm. These guys still hit hard, like, there's still something to worry about. Because we can kill them now doesn't mean that they're, um... They're gonna be easy. But I'm trying to farm them because they give 500 XP each. Okay, whilst I remember. Turn off Butcher. It's the most annoying ability in the game by far if you're trying to... Uh, keep an eye on how much you're weighing. Okay, we're famished. Eat something. I think we can probably go down to the first floor of Bethesda Sousa here. And here we are. Oh, we finally made it. And 
And on that note, I think I'm going to call it for today. Uh, it's been a really mad day for me today. Um, just literally came back from band practice, shoved a sandwich down my face, and now I'm here. So um, it's been just over two hours. So I'm going to be back tomorrow, and we're going to uh, continue playing more Caves of Cud. Uh, and hopefully we can finish Bethesda Sousa and get this guy um, moving along on the main quest. Uh, thank you to anyone who stopped in today to watch. Um, quite a quiet stream today, but that's okay. And I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.